This is one of the many setups for question seven on the homework. And as you can see uh, in this triangle, we're given two sides and an angle. The angle is not between the two sides. So as I tell most students, if you look at this backwards, it forms a word that is a pain. And that maybe that will help you realize that there could be no solution, two solutions, or one solution for this. So if I were going to try to find angle B, I could use my law of sines and I could use sine of 49 over 31 is equal to sine of B over 32. And when I cross multiply, I get sine of 49 times 32 equals sine of B times 31. If I divide both sides by 31, I get sine of B is equal to what I have on the left hand side and if I hit inverse sine of this expression I get B is approximately 51.174 now what you have to check is you have to see if that's the only option for B and since this could be an ambiguous case and A is 49, if B is the 51.174, then the other angle, if I add 49 plus 51.174 and subtract that from 180, I get 79.826 for the third angle. But in this triangle, it might not be 51.174. It could be 180 minus 51.174, which is 128.826. And as long as when I add the two angles up, I still have enough room left for another angle because when I add those up, I get 177.826. I still have a little tiny bit of room for a third angle because the three angles add up to 180. So since in the directions it said you are picking a triangle with an obtuse angle, and obtuse means bigger than 90 degrees, this is the one that we're going for. So this is the triangle that we're looking at. So if I'm trying to find the rest of the, of the sides, I have to actually use the 128 degree angle with my 32 or the 49 with the 31 and the 2.174 to find the missing side. So this is what I have now in that triangle. This is what we were given. This is what we found, but we also found this one and this is the triangle that we're talking about. So the math that I would need to do now would be sine of 2.174 degrees over C and then I could use either one of the others to find that missing side. So that's the math that we're looking at to get that actual missing side.